Travis, and today we're going to talk about how to assemble an aquatic clear build mounted on a horizontal float. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to see that in the horizontal float kit we're going to have one can strap, uh, we're going to have one 3A16 bolt without a flange on it, one nylock nut, and it's got usually a different color. Uh, this particular color is white. We're going to have one of those, and then we're going to have two lock washers. And we are going to pre-assemble the can strap in a circular shape by going through the center lone hole with a lock washer slipped on that bolt. Slip through that center hole, grip it. Lock washer on the opposite side followed lastly by your nylock nut. And that'll just be loosely hanging out like so. We will then take the aquatic clear build and the flange coming off the, uh, off the can strap will actually be, will be opposite or it'll, it'll be opposite of your cord cover on your aquatic clear build. So cord coming out over here flange of can strap coming out over here. We want to hang that out about maybe an inch, inch and a half below the can lip. Slide that up. And then ultimately, so what we want to do is we want to line up this flange from the can strap and the mount with this tab, which is opposite, almost opposite of your cord cover. That is going to be on, on the bottom and that'll allow your cord to hang down away from the prop. So it is essential to have the tab and retaining clip and bolt opposite of that line up with your can strap. All right, now that the can strap is fully secured, we're gonna be putting two of our tie downs, which comes in the horizontal float kit bag. Um, we're gonna actually loosen up and take apart the VX clips right here on the Aquatic Clear. So this is now the opposite from the can strap. Should be one right here. One right here. We're gonna make sure that the tie down is also sticking out away from the center of the unit. The tie down goes underneath the VX clip and gets sandwiched between the VX clip and the nut. And I'm currently using a 7 16 socket. So, once you have your tie downs set, next would be taking your two horizontal float brackets and it'll be mounting those with your serrated flanged bolt and nut. So one horizontal bracket will go on each side of the can strap, sandwiching that flange. And this is where the customer is gonna to need to know which angle that they want to keep the unit facing when on the horizontal float. If they want it facing more of a negative or like a declining direction, so they wanna kind of force the flow down, they'll want to make sure that that bracket will be down a little bit or if they want it facing up towards the surface, up towards the prop. So in this case, we're just gonna go straight horizontal. Bolt goes in, nut on the other side, and we tighten down.
And this will be a 9 16th socket or wrench. And then holding it with a wrench on the opposite side to make sure it doesn't sit and spin. Got that snug? All right. So from there, the unit can then be tipped on its side like a table. And we're gonna use four of the serrated flange quarter 20 by half inch long uh, bolts and those will actually thread right into the, there's four uh, quarter 20 inserts into the float. a 3 8 socket to tighten those down. From there, you should have one remaining tie down and one remaining uh, serrated flange bolt that's a quarter 20. That will be screwed into the very, very uh, back serrated, or the, uh, that'll get screwed into the very, very back brass insert for a mooring line. And you got three black ropes, still standard. Best way of going about that is loop through and pull. That's your back mooring line. Then you'll have those tie, there's two tie downs on the unit now. With the chain and carabiner clip that also comes in the kit bag, one clip will go on each tie down. So you have one on each side. And then just like the back, Simply clip the black rope to the carabiner. Black loop to the carabiner. Ready for install.